Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have ourselves here a brand new promo coming tomorrow, the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. It is the Foot 22 Fantasy Promo or Fantasy Foot. I don't know how what exactly it's called, but this is what the loading screen looks like. We have two different card designs and a whole entire leaked team with stats of course you guys know that teams are being leaked this year a lot of the stuff is known ahead of time so we have the players that we're going to be seeing soon as a part of this promo but again it's still a brand new promo that we've never seen before so there's a lot of an element of unknown to this as well the team looks pretty cracked i'll talk about through the cards what we could expect as these cards upgrade these cards will have potential to get plus one plus two plus three actually on their initial boost through some kind of different objectives. It is similar to the what if promo that we saw last year. We'll make those, we'll draw those comparisons together in this video as well. Now, besides that, today is a huge day on FIFA 22 because it might be the day that we see our player of the month, Mbappe SBC. The Ben Yedder player of the month expires today. League one player of the month are usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays, excuse me. And uh, the voting is closed, the leak is out. So we are just waiting for the Mbappe SBC, and I think it very well could be coming today. We have foot birthday cards dropping on the market as EA is running the lightning rounds, even at this crazy hour uh, of the nighttime when I'm recording this. It's like 2 a.m. UK time, and they still have the 85-plus star packs cooking in the store. So EA is continuing with the lightning rounds, which is dropping prices on the market specifically for these foot birthday cards. We're going to talk about all of that and more in today's video. If you're excited for a brand new promo, Foot Fantasy, hit the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it, right? Let's talk about the details of this promo that is gonna be coming tomorrow on Friday. What we see right away is the two card designs. This is what we, I guess, think right now would be the base card design on the left with the blue colors, right? Not as much flair around the outside or imaging, like 3D aspect to the card. And then you have the maybe upgraded version on the right with the more colorful version, with the extra graphics around the outside. Uh, that's our best guess as what this might be right now based off of what we know about this promo. So this is the only loading screen that we have at the moment. I would expect this to be updated today on Thursday with maybe some players showing on it, uh, like I guess hints at what players could be there or also maybe some hints around the upgrades. But since we have leaks, of course, we kind of know how this promo might end up working. So. These are the leaks from Foot Sheriff. He says that there are three upgrade possibilities for every single card that is going to get released during this promo. A player will get upgraded if they play three matches in the next five games, and these would be domestic league matches. So League One games for PSG, for example, or for Manchester United, Premier League games only, Champions League, which both of those teams are no longer in the Champions League, RIP, um, or Cup games, anything like that would not count for these. It is only the league games that count for these matches. So play three matches. If the player plays in three of those matches of those next five games, there's a plus one. If that player wins one game, player's team wins one game out of those first five domestic league matches, that's a plus one as well. So a plus two overall. And if that individual player scores a goal, if it's attacker or midfielder, scores or assists a goal in those five games, they get another plus one for the plus three. Or if that player is a defender or a goalkeeper, if they keep one clean sheet, they will also get a plus one. So the potential of plus three for each card that is going to get dropped. And of course, these cards aren't just their base golds, right? And they're going to get a plus three. They're going to have an initial upgrade. And this is better than the what if promo from last year, because last year, if you guys remember, these cards only got up to plus two. And it was just if you kept like two clean sheets in five games or one clean sheet in five games. And if your team scored like five goals or six goals in five games or whatever it was, right? This one, I, I like these upgrade um, criteria because it's more personalized per the player because the player has to play. The player has to score or defense has to keep a clean sheet. And then there is a team aspect to it in the win. So I think this is pretty easy, to be completely honest. Um, not, it's not obviously going to be a plus three easily for each card that is released out of this promo team. But when you see the cards with the leaked stats that we have, you're going to be hoping that every single team can get these upgrades because these cards, they look pretty good, even with their initial boosts. So these are the players that are leaked right now. 
as a part of the Fantasy Foot promo. Alan St. Maximin is the headlining player in this squad. Look at that card. 92 rated striker, 97 pace, 96 dribbling. His base card has five star skills and a four star weak foot. There are rumors that he is going to be five star, five star. And if you guys do remember, last year with the What If promo, they gave out some small weak foot skill move upgrades. Like Odegaard went from a two star weak foot to a three star weak foot. I think Sancho. Uh, was a 5-3. I don't remember what his card was last year. I, I think they, they gave some other skill move and weak foot boosts throughout the cards that they did drop through the first and second teams of the What If promo last year. All I know is that after Foot Birthday, with all the 5-star, five 5-star five upgrades that we saw, they kind of are more more lenient, right? And they give out more skill move weak foot upgrades because they've set that precedence with Foot Birthday. So we really hope that a guy like Rashford could have that four-star weak foot and that St. Maximin could be five-star, five-star. But look at some of these other players in the team, right? Of course, Rashford and St. Maximin, probably the two biggest names. Nani position change with a cracked looking card. That looks awesome. Um, Jimenez looks pretty good. John Stones looks pretty good. Van de Beek, Hullet Gang center mid. I don't think that card looks incredible, but I think it looks pretty good. Dutch links as well in the Premier League. Pedro, kind of a throwback to the first flashback SBC that we had earlier on this year in FIFA 22. Pedro's getting another card, live and upgradable. Kamavinga, that's a big one as well. A lot of hype for a Kamavinga card. I know the card stats right here don't look that insane, but that's a huge Huge boost for an 87 rated Kamavinga, whose card is actually from earlier on in the game. A lot of people used him and he was really, really good. So that's cool to see. Anaki Williams getting another item. His record breaker was so cracked for a lot of people. That card's going to be really good and with potential upgrades. I mean, you can already imagine looking at these cards, start to imagine plus one, plus two, plus three. You give a plus three and make this Anaki Williams 90 rated, you're talking 91 dribble, 91 shooting, 84 passing, 90 physical. These cards with plus three upgrades, if all of them or most of them are able to hit that plus three upgrade criteria, we are looking at team of the season end game level cards for a lot of these items, which is unbelievable and insane. And it almost takes us right up until that team of the season time frame. We're, we're not that far away. Again, as I've been mentioning, and it, it just makes sense. We, we seem to be leading into team of the season with the potential upgrades that these cards might be getting. But Klosterman's card looks ridiculous as well. A FIFA fan favorite. Odria Zola looks pretty good for a Serie A right back with some interesting links in there. It would link to your Sergio Ramos, of course, with the Spanish link right there with upgrades to that card. That could be cool. Kieta Balde looks pretty cracked. Uh, Rusillian, a French left back. Somebody to kind of um, compete with the Teo Hernandez and the um, what's the other? Delane, the other left French left back in the game. And then even this core um, Bundesliga CDM card looks pretty decent for a lower level card. So I think this team looks really cool, right? And again, it's cool. There's a couple position changes in here um, for the Nani, for the St. Max. We hope, honestly, that there's a couple skill move, weak foot upgrades sprinkled on in there. Uh, but these cards do look pretty good. I honestly think they do look really, really good. Now, a lot of people are asking the question, are these cards as hyped as the foot birthdays that we have just seen released? Because we have just seen some incredible cards released from foot birthday. And this is my take. I, I know that these cards for foot birthday don't upgrade. They're not live. But we had some insane upgrades in here, right? The Paqueta, five star, five star. Is there a midfielder in this upcoming team that is as good as this Lucas Paqueta? In my opinion, I don't think so. Now, is there an attacker in its upcoming team? Alan St. Maximin, that is on par, if not better than maybe a guy like Roberto Firmino. Okay, now we're in the conversation where, okay, Roberto Firmino actually bounced back in price a bit. He was 1-1 one, one lows. Now he's up like 30, 40K. But that's where the conversation begins, right? There are some cards in this team that look really good. But in general, I honestly have to say that I think this last set of players that we had during foot birthday was 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 a little bit better. I think it was a little bit better in general. Now, again, there is a lot of hype for live and upgrading cards, but it's not like those cards that we just looked at with all those players are going to upgrade right away. So I understand the hype for these new items, and it is going to be cool, and it is going to be fun. But I also kind of think that some of these foot birthday cards are around the same level of hype, if not even more hype than some of those cards just because of how OP these guys are with the big name players, the five star, five star boost that we saw. So that's just kind of my take. I feel like for the players in packs, yes, it's hype, but I feel like it's a slight step down from where we just were 
inside of a birthday. Now, one interesting thing, if you take a look at this as well, and you know, we were talking about this a little bit yesterday on the Twitch stream when this stuff was being leaked. You know what this really seems like to me? This almost seems like EA is giving the potential boost to players that would not get into team of the season, right? Rashford, St. Maximin, all of these guys in here. Yes, they're on some big teams, Manchester City, Manchester United, right? Atletico, um, you know, Real Madrid. These are some big teams that are in here that will have many players from their squads featuring in a team of the season coming later in the next couple of months. This almost seems like, hey, we're going to give these cards team of the season end game level items that they will be, you know, their best items for the rest of this game that will be usable after plus two, plus three upgrades during team of the season as we get to that time this year. That's almost how I see it, which I'm fine with, right? And I like the prospect of this promo and it is very cool, but I couldn't help but notice that. And especially if we were to, as we were talking about it yesterday, it really kind of made sense that that kind of seemed like EA might be going that direction with this promo. So that's kind of the promo. Again, it always, it always comes down to the SBCs. It sounds like as uh, Foot Sheriff has leaked that we're not going to be getting a swaps promo as a part of this. Uh, and, and then from there, it's, it all, all comes down to what sort of SBCs do they release? Is it going to be hype? Um, are they going to release really good player SBCs that have the potential to upgrade as well? Um, that sort of thing. So that's everything that we know as of right now about the Fantasy Foot um, a promo that is going to be coming tomorrow on a Friday. We'll probably get some more information today. And of course, we'll talk about that tomorrow on the channel. Now, let's reel it back in and focus on today because again, today is a such a massive day. We have milestone and season rewards uh, dropping on the game today as well. And that means that your, your level is going to be reset. You're going to be set back a couple of divisions and everything starts over. We're going to have new season players and objectives today. We're going to have a brand new season progress. Everything's going to be reset. Um, and you'll be starting new in that sort of thing, but also there's going to be a lot of packs released. Is that going to impact the market a lot? Honestly, what it's going to do is it's going to give this market and it's going to give this game a lot of SBC fodder. I really think that's what it's going to do. It's going to supply people's clubs with 84, 85, 86 rated cards, which is perfect again for that big time SBC that we've been talking about coming today, Kylian Mbappe player of the month, expecting it to see it today. So um, I think that if Mbappe does come out today, I think you will see this gold card drop down in price. His informs will most likely drop down in price unless the Mbappe SBC is incredibly overpriced. And again, at the current levels with how SBC fodder is right now, fodder is not up. Fodder is actually still kind of low. Look at 85s. 85s are 9.2K. I mean, some of these guys, as I just mentioned, like the lightning rounds that came out yesterday, Oyarzabal is 8.8K. What happened yesterday? Uh, he went from 9.8 thousand coins and literally just dropped down in value because of the lightning rounds that we had yesterday and stuff like that. I think we're going to have some more lightning rounds today, but we're also going to have another 85 plus times three. If you guys did not notice that pack from yesterday, um, I'm, I'm going to tie all this fodder talk back into the player of the month Mbappe as well here in a second. But the 85 plus times three, it was repeatable again yesterday. And guess what? Just in case you got tired of it, don't because it's coming back again in 15 hours. That's what that other little 15 hour means. This SBC goes away in one day, 15 hours on Friday. But tomorrow or today, technically on Thursday, we're going to be able to do it again. It's going to refresh itself and it'll be available. So three days in a row and 85 plus triple will be out. So speaking of SBC fodder with rewards today, it's going to get supplied a bit. If you want to take a look at some of these lower tier cards, especially the 84s, 83s and 84s, and you can go in and look at some of these cards that have spiked in price in the past couple of days um, because of the 85 plus, then you're going to be able to trade with some of these cards again today as maybe they drop down with the late night lightning rounds that we're having right now, maybe with rewards, a little bit of tradable supply coming in. And then from there, you would maybe see these cards rise up a little bit with the player of the month Mbappe, with the 85 plus times three SBCs that would be coming out today. Um, maybe some informs as well. I know some of you guys were making some profit on inform fodder. Honestly though, I don't expect to see big, huge rises on fodder today with Mbappe coming out because again, it's not an SBC that most people will just sit down and do at one time. Again, we talked about a player a month Mbappe around two and a half million coins. That's going to take you, it's going to take most people 
a, a good while to get that done. Now, if you're somebody who is trying to get that done ASAP today, then you know maybe looking into some fodder right now at these lower prices might not be a bad shout and stocking some of it during that rewards time period could be a shout and maybe even um, after the SBC comes out if we have more lightning rounds today on Thursday which I think we could that could also um, give you another opportunity to get some of that fodder now also more supply coming on the market today will be a brand new set of marquee matchups that should be our last um, marquee matchups that includes a foot birthday token we need two more tokens we're still due two of them we did have, I think we had the foot 21 SBC yesterday, if I'm not uh, speaking incorrectly. Foot 20 is right there and foot 21. So I don't know if they're going to do a foot 22, but um, we still need two tokens, EA Sports. Um, you're still giving us two more to get to 24 in total, I think. Um, and if they only give us one more, then I'm not entirely sure, unless the count that I'm thinking of is, is going up to 25. But I think we still just need uh to i think we need two more tokens to get us to 24 so one of them should be coming through this marquee matchups today which will bring some tradable supply to the market as well and that makes me think about foot birthday cards once again on this market again you know i take a look at fakir like what value is this 300 and what is this guy 350 370 000 coins he's under 400k he's actually bounced back up just a tiny bit he was 350 at his absolute lowest earlier today. I think he goes back down there. I don't think these cards are rising up just yet. Um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit at this video too. I, I think these cards, this is a really, really insane card for the price that he is. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, French. It is Fakir. He's so hyped already in this game. I've used his road to the knockouts card so much already. And objectives, people have that card, right? You know, some of these cards today are probably going to drop down more in value, just as they did yesterday, right? You, you take a look at some of these cards and their prices. Who's a guy that dropped off a lot yesterday? Um, Danny Alves. Like, what? This is Danny Alves' only special card. Probably is going to be his only special card throughout the whole year. Danny Alves yesterday went from 700K down to 585. He dropped literally 100,000 coins for the only special Danny Alves that we have on the game. Brazil right back, Barcelona links. You know, this is this kind of stuff that as we approach a brand new promo, you're kind of looking at and saying, hmm. What right back is in this promo team that would be really, really hyped? Odria Zola? Okay, that's a good card, but he's not on the level of hype as a potential Danny Alves. So you, we, we may be looking at some of these foot birthday cards for an out-of-packs rise. Maybe. It's just it's going to have to be the perfect ones, though, right? Foot birthday team one didn't do very well out-of-packs, and that, I think, has people a little bit worried. Uh, Suarez is how much? 780? Oh, my gosh, man. That's crazy. Anyways, you know, even Nuno Menj is down. Cruz is down lower in price. Di Lorenzo is still staying the same. Odegaard's 400 flat. Like, especially with the Mbappe player of the month coming out today, that's going to devalue the market. And as they put out these 85 plus times threes and SBCs like that, that's going to take some coins off of the market as people are doing SBCs and stuff like that anyway. So that does worry me a little bit with cards that are in foot birthday team number two. That's why if you're going to invest in any of these cards, I'm going to wait. I, I think there are some good investments out of this team. Um, you know, a guy like potentially Danny Alves. I think Silas is, is a really cheap five-star, five-star card in the Bundesliga, one of the best Bundesliga right mids that is in this game besides Nabry. I know Berchiche, like everybody packed, but I think that's still a decent card. Domington Sanchez, the Rebic, um, the only five-star, five-star Sancho that we're going to have like this year. I wouldn't expect a huge rise out of packs, but I think some of these guys could go up a little bit. So we'll keep watching these cards. I think they go down lower again today on Thursday, and we'll keep a watch of them into tomorrow and Friday. If I'm going to buy any of these, I'm probably going to wait until the actual um, content drop time on Friday. That's kind of, we've been waiting to see what happens um, on these promo Fridays. And if the content is not that great on Friday, uh, besides the new cards and packs, then we might go out and buy some of these for a quick rise as people run back to the market to buy them and use them in their team. So that's kind of one thing that we'd be watching for with these foot birthdays. Again, holding off onto buying in, a, in on some of those. Now, we can't not talk about some Road to the Final action because yesterday, of course, was a crazy day once again of Road to the Final. I mean, did really any of us yesterday expect to see this Quadrado card going from 200,000 coins? This guy is 60K. 60K. K for Quadrado 
on the market right now. No upgrades. This is just now Quadrado's best card in the game. I mean, this is this is ridiculous how much this price has dropped off since yesterday because Juve, of course, did not win. They did not advance. So no more upgrades for this card. Huge panic sell there. Renato Sanchez went on a crazy wild ride, of course, as Lille scored first, but then did not end up winning. And then, of course, so many people were waiting to buy this Renato Sanchez after the game because it is the best version of this card in the game. Still an insane OP, such a usable item. He went from like a million coins up to 1.3 when they scored, then back down to a million coins. And now post game, he's back up to 1.2 just because everybody was waiting for them to lose and they thought the price was going to tank afterwards. Well, in reality, the price was already down so much and they were not expected to win an upgrade that his price was just too low. So he kind of got bought back. So GG's if he traded with any of those cards yesterday. Now, one that's a little interesting to me right now is Kai Havertz. I mean, Kai Havertz is 240,000 coins, I think, right around 240. He might have rebounded back up a little bit, but he was just 240 on footpin. This card is still live. He's getting a plus one upgrade on uh, Friday, basically tomorrow. And 230,000 coins, that's almost like the lowest, even when he was in packs, he was like 230K. So the fact that this card is still live um, and it's going to be getting a plus one, it dropped off so much after the game because it was overinvested. That's the simplest way to say it. But since Chelsea are still in the competition, upgrades are still to come for this card. Um, I think it's going to rebound back a little bit. I don't think it's going to go back to 300K just yet because the next Champions League games aren't for a hot minute. But um, if you sold this card yesterday at 310K, I sold one there. That was a big time GG because he did drop off a lot post game. But I think he'll start to maybe creep back up just a little bit um, of after all of that selling from yesterday. So that was kind of the crazy stuff that happened on the market. Cristiano Ronaldo, team of the week. Since we had lightning rounds, something you guys can always note, if you guys like to trade uh, with brand new team of the week cards, which is risky, but it can also be very profitable. This Cristiano Ronaldo was 670,000 coins at one point yesterday. Whenever they run lightning rounds on a Wednesday, which does not happen very often, but when it does, you can make a lot of coins from it. Same thing with this with this card, obviously not in packs, but this Ronaldo was down to 800,000 coins flat, rebounded to 900K, kind of where he is now. And the team of the week that was just brand new to packs yesterday went from 670 all the way back up to almost 780, 790, almost 800,000 coins. Now this card's gonna drop off even more throughout the weekend. Like honestly, I think Cristiano Ronaldo in form is gonna be under six. He's gonna be in the 500K range come Friday, Saturday. Just being completely honest with you, I think that's where this card should be valued at. And you know, 500K might even be where he's at if they run the stupid, crazy amount of lightning rounds again. But for day one cards, these guys fluctuate a ton in price and they're great cards to watch out for that you can make a lot of coins on. So just kind of note that. Now today with rewards, they're gonna get supply a little bit, maybe a bit of a bounce back. All of your headliners yesterday that got upgraded dropped in price as well. Uh, that's why we were definitely saying to sell in the hype for these cards as well. Vinny Jr. Uh, went down to 1.2. He was 1.23 on PlayStation. He's now bounced back up even after the upgrade. Reese James dropped down. So that's kind of what always happens with those sorts of cards. And that's why you saw those movements that you did yesterday on the market. So again, it's a huge day today. Mbappe is going to be the big man today if the SBC does drop, which we do expect it to. And of course, marquee matchups, supply, lightning rounds, and hopefully some more information about the brand new promo coming tomorrow, Fantasy Foot. I'm excited for it. It's a brand new promo, so there's always that level of uncertainty. What's EA going to do with a new promo on this game? Hopefully this video helped out, though, with the information that we do know already. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.